Pike moving back out. Hello guys, it's Saron here, and today we're playing some more Juice X, Mankind Divided. <laughs> I thought you were going to say something. In the last episode, um, we got finished gathering um, evidence. Can't remember what for. I think the, um, one of the doctors in the industry that we're working for found something interesting and they needed the evidence to prove or to experiment whatever he was doing. <laughs> I can't remember what he was actually trying to do, but we had to gather some evidence and we, in doing so, we had to fight this massive robot thing, which I did not fight. I eventually ran past it, as you guys witnessed in the last episode. <laughs> We're now outside the clinic, um, about to visit Alexandria, who has information that she gathered from the Whisper Chip that we had to, get, uh, that we had to plant in the last episode. That being said, let's get on with um, the mission and see what she has. We'll see what she uncovered. Oh, of course, it's locked. Okay. Either something will happen, or it won't. Just drop it. No one cares. Ah. Okay, there's more stairs. Hey, glad you can make it. Any trouble getting away? Miller's been giving me some leeway, but not much. I did survive a terror attack. You and me both. God, sometimes I really hate the city. It used to welcome people like us, go out of its way to entice Ogs to live here. This clinic was built because Prague saw us as its future. No. Look at it. Times change, Alex. I know, trust me, even got the scars to prove it. After all, look what happened in the last um, game. You can't really blame people for being scared. We've been working together for a few months now. Still don't know much about you. What, you trolling for my secrets now? Just the good ones. How did you join the Juggernaut Collective? Well, they got me out of a tough spot. Before the incident, I was working for Bell Tower flying VIPs around Panama and I stumbled into something big. Something very important people didn't want anyone to know about. So, they ordered Bell Tower to kill me. Janus warned you? Got you out? A friend of Janus's, someone in the collective who used to work for Bell Tower too. You don't mess with these people, Adam. Not by yourself. I learned that the hard way. You're a valuable asset. The Collective could have sent you anywhere. Why Prague? You really need to ask? Ever since the incident, paranoia and racism are eating the city alive. The whole world's watching just to see how Prague handles its AUG problem. Didn't realize the entire Collective was pro-AUG. Not everyone is. But we all know our real enemies need chaos to operate in. Play the right chord, pull the right string, and Prague has plenty of that. You said we got something? Yeah, listen to this. A little heads up would have been nice. Sending your team to Dubai was my call, but now we need to go by the book. Focus on Ark. You want me to pin all of this on them? The bombings in Prague, the break-in at Besselife, and Dubai? Officially, all five attacks involved augmented terrorists. Is that clear? Yes, sir. But send me the reports if you want me to prove it. Because Ark don't operate in North America. They're setting up Ark, Adam. They sent you into that ambush in Dubai, and now they want to pin everything on the Augmented Rights Coalition. I told you Miller was dirty. Sounds to me like Miller's following orders. It also sounds like he's not happy about it. All right, whatever. Maybe he's just a stooge. You can't say the same about the man he's talking to. His boss, Joseph Manderley. Director of TF-29 operations worldwide. The only person at Interpol higher than him is the General Secretariat. We need to play this smart, Alex. Think about what we heard. What was that bit about VersaLife? You mean the break-in that never happened? Yeah, I started digging into that right after I decrypted the conversation. What'd you find? Like I said, man, it's the break-in that never happened. VersaLife is one of the biggest pharma companies on the planet. The only one still manufacturing neuropazine. If it got broken into, it would have been big news. So why are they saying it did? VersaLife doesn't produce just neuropazine. They've got a huge research and development division. Yeah? So? What does that have to do with ARC? Why frame them for break-in? 
They want them to look like terrorists. I guess it depends on what they'll say was stolen. See what the Collective can dig up. If this really is a conspiracy, that break-in will be the threat to pull on. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna finish my investigation. Find out who really bombed the station. I'll let you know when I turn up. Same here. Good luck, Adam. Miller, we still going to Gollum City? You are. Meet me at Kopecky's puppet shop. Your pilot's en route. I'll brief you there. Copy that. Now it looks like we're leaving the city again. I genuinely do believe, well, I did believe that um, Miller is only following orders mm. as Jensen said. But then again, I do agree with Alec, Alexan Alec, whatever her name was. <laughs> I believe that um, she has a point with, I don't know how far we can actually trust Miller. As he is down and dirty sometimes, so we're going to see what happens. Alright guys, the end of the, end of the recording just a few seconds ago, I just skipped to um, the next mission area, which actually turns out was literally just around the corner. So I do apologise for that, I didn't realise it was that close to, that close to us. Got a little aeroplane. I know that. Look, I gotta go. I'll call you later. Problems? Nothing I can't handle. We're just waiting on chicane. So tell me about this new lead then. The IntelliCamp footage. State police dropped it off this morning. Badly corrupted. But Chang worked his magic and managed to recover some images. They show an org in a yellow hoodie, dropping bags where each bomb went off. You ran facial recognition? You got an ID? Couldn't see his face. But the bags are the same ones used by Talus Rucker and his aid workers in the Utilet complex. That's a stretch. Three bombings in Prague in six months, Jensen. All of them after the leader of Ark took up residence in that ghetto. Rucker needs to answer for these attacks. Here's your cane now. Have we met Chicane? Have, uh, that name does not sound familiar. No, we haven't. Am I late? Are you too early? Uh... You're right on time. Agent Jensen was just agreeing that we need to bring Rucker in. Quick snatch and grab. Should be easy enough. So we've already decided he's guilty? We just need to talk to him on our terms. Not when he's surrounded by fanatics. Getting into Gollum isn't the problem. Reaching Rucker is. Ark territory is fiercely defended. No one sets foot in there. Not even the state police. They can't. Rucker wasn't forced into Gollum City. He bought his way in. Blackmail would be more apt. He threatened to go public with evidence of a humanitarian crisis. One that the United Nations Security Council had swept under the rug. Got them to force the Czech government to hand over part of the Utilek complex to him. A little bit of hush real estate, so to speak. He stays quiet and guarantees safety for himself and his followers. Smart. So how do I get in? I've made a deal with an Ark prospect named Tibor Sokol. Promised to get his family out of the complex, so long as he gets you past Ark's checkpoints. You trust him? We have to. It's that or nothing. Sokol will meet you at an apartment in the housing district. Number 237. Any questions? You ask me. Rucker sounds more like a savvy politician than a terrorist. These days, the lines tend to be blurred. But Rucker was a highly respected doctor, with no military training. What am I missing here? Rucker is a man of deeply held convictions, with an unshakable belief in his own righteousness. 
Doesn't take much to push a man like that to terrorism. Man's a zealot. He's a suspect. Just bring him in. You really believe Ark is responsible for these attacks? For all of them? Ark has had the means, motive, and opportunity every time. Even Dubai? Rucker and the Coalition are still confined to Gollum City. They have a heavy police presence keeping an eye on them. Gollum isn't a concentration camp. You grease the right palms, you can get the papers you need to come and go. I find that hard to believe. So get me the evidence to prove otherwise. Get to Talos Rucker and bring him in, Agent. Let's get this over with. Let me know when you've got Rucker. And what are you going to be doing? Goddamn, Jensen. Every time I look at you, I can't believe the amount of jewelry you've got on. Tell me, how's that aftermarket shit working out for you? Never better. Maybe you should reconsider. What with that limp? No. I like my limp. Keeps me honest. You ready to light out? You're my only backup on this one. Before we leave, I'd like to know you've actually got my back. Trust me. I flew ten years in the SAAF and five in the private sector moving corporate heads. And in all that time, I've never lost a fare. How many years with TF-29? Two, which is a year and a half longer than you, from what I understand. So you want to keep talking resumes, waste more of our time? Or will you trust me to get the job done? I still have some things I need to take care of before we leave. All right. Go on then, get your shit sorted. I'll be here, waiting. Okay, since um, some of the side quests are going to be cancelled, I don't want to um, make you guys miss out on anything. So that being said, I'm going to actually um, get on with some of these side quests and see what, where it leads us. First things first, I might... Um, where was it? There you go, I'm going to visit David Sarah first. It uh, would be nice to have an old fate from one of the previous games. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Adam! Thanks for calling me back, son. I heard about the bombing in Prague. It's all... I'm not interested in your sympathy, Seraph. We've got more important things to discuss. Like my doctor finding dormant augs hidden in my system. What? Dormant experimental augs. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? Adam, you know the decisions I made for you two years ago. Yes or no? No! All the work we did on you was above board. You have my word on that. What, uh, what exactly did you find? Experimental test augs spliced into my system. Kohler said something about a neodymium shell. Who would have designed something like that? God, you've got a Titan Og? It's impossible. It was just a concept. You just said this wasn't you. It wasn't. The DoD showed me schematics three years ago and asked me if I thought it could work. It was designed by somebody else, Vadim Orlov. Megan and I interviewed him once, but he wouldn't have fit in. These schematics you saw. Don't suppose you kept a copy. They were classified. I never had a copy. The only reason I even saw them was because the Defense Department valued my opinion. Seraph Industries did good work back in the day. When we signed a schematic, you knew it was solid. Orlov? Sounds Russian. Who is he? Why wouldn't he have fit in? He was supposed to be a boy wonder, a neuroscience prodigy. Got his master's degree in Moscow, post-grad in the U.S. His grades were off the chart, but his theories were, uh, sketchy at times. Megan said his ethics were questionable. Megan? Megan Reed said that? The woman who gave you my DNA to experiment with? We didn't hire him, Adam. Two minutes into the interview and I could tell Orloff didn't like his ideas being challenged by anyone. Least of all, a strong woman like your ex. 
I've got to find this guy. Adam, let me track him down for you. I'm leaving for London soon. I've got meetings with Nathaniel Brown and the Santo Group there. But I can make phone calls, uh, reach out to people. Seraph Industries may be gone, but my name still carries weight in certain circles. Do it. Contact me by info link when you have something. I won't let you down on this. I never felt right about losing touch with you after Panchea. When I heard you'd shown up in Detroit alive a year after everyone thought you were dead, why didn't you get in touch with us? I couldn't. Rescue crews pulled me out of the ocean and dumped me in a clinic in Alaska. Nobody knew who I was. For a long time, neither did I. My god, son, you don't think... I mean, that could have been when... Find Orlov, Seraph. I've got questions I need answered. I will, I promise. I'll call you. So this has gone a lot deeper than we first anticipated, which really, you can't really say it wasn't going to be. In a game like this anyway. So let's watch a little bit of TV. Alright, I'm bored now. What's the next side quest then? As soon as I figure out how to bring it, the menu up. There, okay, that's not the right one. There we go. That one's done. Now we've got to travel to some... Travel to see some guy who can actually help us get full access to our augmentations. Which is in the... Sistra district. Not sure where that is, but I'll just follow the minimap until we get there. Alright guys, the minimap has led us in this location, so without further ado, let's get into it and see what this guy has to tell us. They treat each other with respect. If a man has something to say, he says it to your face. Politely, that is what... Go away, Clegg. We're closed. Oh, he is not here to gamble, Vano. Are you? You're Otar? I am Mr. Botcovelli, yes. And who are you? I'm here on behalf of a concerned third party. Hear that, my no. Our guest is a very private person. I found it pays to be cautious when you don't know exactly who you're dealing with. That is true. But sometimes it can create problems which could have been avoided had they been more forthcoming. If neither man is willing to compromise, they cannot reach a satisfactory understanding. I would like to avoid any misunderstandings. Good. So in this case, since you already know my name, no doubt are other things about me. I think you owe me the same courtesy. I'm with Interpol, but I'm not here to cause any trouble. Organized crime is someone else's department. I'm here to pick up the shipment you're withholding from Vaclav Kohler. <laughs> Vano, look. The only honest policeman in Prague. Kohler must want this item very much to send someone like you. But I will tell you what I told Kohler. No, you cannot have the calibrator, and you can't either. Dealing with all is bad business. A point which some people in this organization have yet to understand. Kohler didn't send me. 
I volunteered after he explained his situation. Sounded like he can use a little help. The truth is, though, I'm doing this for me. I need some repairs done, and Kohler needs the calibrator to do them. You believe this, Marvalo? Such commitment to honesty. But now I wonder about your commitment to other people. So tell me, Mr. Friendship, how far are you willing to go to help out a friend in need? I'm going to keep straight talking to this guy simply because that seems to be working in the upper left hand side of the screen. And he's also honourable, proud, and. don't know what that other word is, but since obviously straight talking is going to be best for this guy. If someone needs my help, I give it any way I can. <laughs> it is like I am always telling him you can get a lot accomplished just by having a conversation. I will let you have the calibrator. Thanks. And what's it gonna cost me? Listen to the man, Lalo. Even when he gets what he wants, he does not trust it. What shall we do with such a man? What will it cost? A favor. What kind of favor? Uh, don't worry. Mm. I will let you know in due time. It won't be too painful. Not for you. <laughs> what do you say? Do we have a deal, mister? Jensen, we have a deal. Excellent. Upstairs in my office, you will find Collar's calibrator. I will be in touch. I'm getting the feeling that um, that would have took me down the darker, more evilish path. The green to whatever he has to offer. All right, Collar. I've got your neuroplasticity calibrator. That's great! I'm gonna pencil you in for that optimization procedure. Just as soon as I'm done with this house call. What house call? I got this other client, you know, doesn't like to be kept waiting. Neither do I, Kohler. Call me when you're ready. There we go. Why this look unless we got one here? Nope. So looks like we have one more mission we can do before heading off to um Gollum City. I believe so anyway. That being said, we'll just get into it and I'll see you in a little bit. Alright uh, guys, you're just outside the last mission area. I just upgraded my um, hacking skills and my hacking stealth, which should make it a lot easier to get into this house. So let's get into it here. We need to head over here, so probably going this way would be the better way. I believe so, let's give it a try. Anomaly detected. Trace program initiated. Oh, so close. Oh, got it. Sweet. Oh, I failed it then. Find the source of the hack. Just could hack into your level one computer here. Access 
access granted. So right, guys, I'll read these out for you. Why are you online? Sewer so stand up was five minutes ago, and you're not even in Daphne? I want you to lead the your um prior I don't know, story. What's the rush? Just a little something called Sam issue sixty seven. Before you had a scoop about the import company. You need to know you need you need to forget about that. This is no story. Sounds like something we should talk about in person. Where are you? Bluff. Truth is I got lost again. One of those days. I know it's not easy having the having to hide underground. But our kind of media revolution cannot survive in the open. We are in the Daphne district. Take the mound hole by the music store on the old church. Once you find the hidden office, the code to get in is 5431. Kind of just told everything to a complete stranger. You have no guarantee that I was actually who I was saying. Chang, I think I have something on our secret admirer. A group called Sam is dead. Mean anything to you? You mean those conspiracy nuts? Very bad for business. How much do they know? Not sure. Good news is I got an exact location. Find out whatever you can. What they know, what they want. If they blow the task force's cover, it's only a matter of time before someone blows up the task force. Don't worry, Chang. I don't want the walls coming down just yet. Can't. Uh, guys, we're just outside the manhole we were told about. Let's get into it and see what we can under discover. Undiscover? <laughs> Can't English. Alright. Need to head this way. Crouch. Up. Oh. Okay, these aren't the people I'm looking for. I'm telling you. I hear whispers in the wall. Busy, leave me alone. Doing what? He just sat there. Where do I go? There's a secret door somewhere. I'm a little confused.
Alright uh, guys, I just found out I've had to climb up here. So hopefully, this is taking me down the correct path. Yeah, it is good. Don't shoot! Shit. We're journalists! Who invited the agent type? Who are you? What do you want? Why are you here? You, you here because of the Dubai story? The article about the moon base. The, the, the clones, the, the clones on the moon base, who, who sent you? I'm here for Sam as dad. You in charge? I take charge, but I'm not in charge, man. No one owns or detects the truth. Freedom of information is a collective right, and the, and the collective responsibility. That said, you gonna break someone's nose, you break my nose. I didn't come here to break anything. I just need you to cooperate. I spent my 20s in the commune, man. I'm all about cooperation. Good. It's about something you've been looking into. It's making some people nervous. What do you know about Praha Dovos? Oh, that little import company? I know there's more than boxes in the basement. We've seen agent types come in and out. The place is a curtain. First, in a series of men. Pull them all back and you'll find... Damn. Tell me I'm wrong. It's a dead end. <laughs> right. Guys like you always come down here because of dead ends. Fine. Then what if it's something other people are already looking into? If someone like you makes too much noise, that may compromise any chance they have of uncovering something bigger. Do you understand? <laughs> I'm supposed to believe we're colleagues now? You men in black types, you walk into Pike's newsroom, tell them to be hush-hush about something, and they do it. But that's not how it works here. One day, you will all be exposed. If not by me, then someone just like me. Sam is that isn't one voice. K isn't one man. What exactly do you do down here? Sam is that is a media uprising. While Pikes panders to corporate tyranny and government bullshit, we pump out the truth. We uncover it, we write it, we publish it, we get our noses broke for it. So you print pamphlets? Well, we do a lot more than that. We got ways of getting into Pikes media network. That's how we disseminate information. Information you get by hacking into places you shouldn't. The truth is buried. If digging it up means skirting a few rules, so be it. What did you mean when you said K wasn't one man? K is an ideal, the intangible leader of tangible resistance. You can kill me, but then little K would become K. Kill little K and, and Bones over there becomes K. That's There's always a K. And what if you kill Bones? <laughs> you can't kill Bones, man. Bones isn't real. I think he was one of them. He was supposed to be a prince of Belgium, man, but then he broke his condition. We found him inside this fucking cult, all confused, so we reprogrammed him with the truth. Right. Suppose I needed to make a deal with Sam's dad. There's no one person I can talk to? Depends on the deal. I mean, there's always going to be an editor. Editor makes the final call on all published material. That would be me. So you could ensure that something doesn't get talked about. Depends on the deal. I need you to stop looking into Brahadovos, but not for the reasons you assume. You relax, I get it. You don't think I do, but I do. You've got to appease your military industrial masters. We've all been there, man. I'm not who you think I am. The kinds of people who manipulate the news, who cover things up. You don't need to convince me that's who the enemy is. The enemy is anyone who conceals the truth. And that's exactly what you're asking me to do. To pretend like that little import company isn't hiding something. I'm asking you to see a difference between conspiracy and discretion. Between people who hide information in order to push their own agendas, and those who need to stay off the radar in order to do their jobs. You of all people should understand. Okay. Okay, look. You seem like a reasonable guy, huh? Hell, I've usually been punched by now. I find this refreshing. Here's the deal. We promise to forget all about Praha Dovos and stay out of your way as long as you give us something better. What do you suggest? 
The only thing I hate more than secret organizations are toothless media conglomerates who don't hold anyone accountable, who spit lie after lie after lie. So I propose a trade. There are places my people can't get into. You get into one of those places and find me some dirt on the real enemy here. Pikes Media. Do that, and I'll cut whatever you want me to cut. Who knows? Maybe you'll even learn something. You're gonna forget everything you know about Praha Dovos for now. It's the only way you get to protect your ideals. <laughs> right, because concealing information is obviously the best way to keep people informed. You really think I'm that stupid? There's this word you might want to look up. It's called transparency. It means people have the right to know, no matter what the cost. Fair enough, but there's a difference between speculation and fact. Right now I'm betting you don't have anything tangible to go on. You don't know who I am, what my role is, or what's really going on. Wait until the facts are out before you go spewing misinformation everywhere. Before you get people killed. Okay, maybe I don't have all the facts yet, I'll give you that, but I know something's going on down there. Otherwise you wouldn't be here. That's why you always have to keep digging. The truth, the real truth. It's a rare fucking bird, man. And if you're too slow or too careful, it fucking flies off. So when I get so much as a hint of truth, I strike when I can, as hard as I can. The way I see this, you can strike now with what you think you have and make a dent in the wall. Or you can wait until you have enough to blow this thing wide open. Ah, oh, for someone who wants me to ignore something, you sure are wetting my appetite. But you were right earlier. I have to get my facts straight before I do anything. Because if I don't, then I'm Pikes. And if Sammy's that is Pikes, then, then that makes me Eliza Kazan. Man, that, that's fucked up, man. You're making the right choice. We'll see. You know, we could still use your help, though. Journalistic integrity may not mean very much topside, but it still means something down here. And that's why I think you should help us. You're our best shot at hitting the mass media where it hurts. All right, what do you want to know about Pikes? I want skeletons, the kind that companies like Pikes come all the way to Prague just to bury. Corporate archiving. Corporate archiving, huh? You asking me to break into a bank? I'm not talking vaults here. Ashani Talvar, the Palisade CEO, she leverages her clients, keeps information about them close at hand. She's got something on Pikes, I know it. I just can't get to it, but I bet you could. You poke into her office, find something that proves how nasty Pikes is, how much they love to piss on the truth, and I promise you this, I'll misplace any file you want. We'll see. Chang, man. What do you got for me? Took care of Sam's dad. No one's going to be reading anything about us anytime soon. Oh, I'll cancel the movers. How'd you do it? I've reasoned with them. They're not going to give us any trouble. Reasoned? With the conspiracy nuts? I know what I'm doing. That is clearly a door, but how the hell do I get out of it? I finally got through to my contact in the train. Aha! So all I literally have to do is just move a box. I believe that is the last mission. Dig up dirt in the CEO's office. Right, okay. So I'm going to finish off this one more vid, um, a side quest, at which point I will be ending the episode and then heading to um, Gollum Village, Gollum City in the next episode. So I'll see you guys once I get up to dig up dirt in the CEO's office.
data extractors have never been there. Yes, sub-level security room has our up-to-date security hub. I'm sorry, sir. The VIP vaults are only accessed by appointment, and there are no appointments scheduled. You need an appointment to access your own vault? For the corporate vaults, yes. This allows time for pre-loading your container into the viewing area. You also need your personalized keycard. Thanks for the information. Authorization is required to access this area, sir. <clears throat> Alright, so far, nothing's going in our favor. No, I can't get into the elevator either. I have to get through that laser beam. But I have no idea how to actually get through there with a security guard there. And this guy simply refuses to talk to me, no matter how many times I click the talk button. So there's either one or two things. I have to either... There's a key thing there. So maybe there's a way to actually get around it. Try and, try and find a vent or something like that. Sorry, sir, area is off limits. Apologies, sir, but this area is restricted. Hello boys and girls, if you come down to the f first floor, you can hack into this room here, if you come to, I'm stuck on the table, if you come to this side of the corner here, you'll find a key card, an elevator key card, which will, which will take you to one of the banks, I'm not sure how relevant this is, but it says it's part of the storyline. Alright, that's taking us to the third floor, so hopefully now we have this cracked. Just waiting for my energy, energy to charge up, and at which point I'll head towards him.
trace pro access granted. I managed to get out without raising the alarm. I was so close, I had 59 seconds left. What am I actually in there looking for then, if it's not on the, any of them computers? I have no idea what I just did, I was just playing around with it until something happened. I think I might just fuck myself over there. Damn it. Uh, guys, if you're looking for this quest item, it's just under here. 
That being said, we are now finally ready to actually leave this place and head back to um that little place. So I'll see you back there. So you got anything on Pikes? What are you working on right now? What's your big story? We don't write stories, man. We bombard with facts. 63% of all earthquakes since 1997 were caused by geological bombs. D did you know that? I must have missed that one. There is nothing natural about these disasters. You like figures? 7.1 million Ogs left in the world. That's down 89% since the incident. Darknet Chatterman up 73% since that thing in Dubai. It's all related. You want the spoiler? You want the bottom line? I'll tell you. All part of a selective depopulation agenda they've had from the beginning. The means change, the targets change, but not the ideal. And our governments, they know about this, but the public has no idea. Why? Why is that? Because Pikes controls 94% of the world's media, and 97% of what they report is complete bullshit! That's a fact. You mentioned something about Dubai. What do you know about what happened there? <laughs> ex belt our mercenaries working with local Slavic gangsters, caught in the middle of a puppet show in the Middle East. The whole thing was carefully crafted for them. Crafted by who? Someone who likes to rig the game. A puppet on each hand, man. Where do you get this information from? Who's your source? The voices in the dark, man. The moment you fall asleep is the moment they start talking. That's what I hear. Whispers out of reach. It's, a, it's like a scent. Something no one can hold on to yet. So you have no idea? I got plenty of ideas, but the more I talk, the less I can hear. Besides, journalistic integrity, man. We're not pikers down here, okay? We're one of the few media outlets left that aren't part of the global control mechanism. Indirect means on one side, direct means on the other. And once you're in the wheels of the machine, you're finished! I think I found the kind of information you're looking for. All right. Inspire me. Here. Pikes knew all about a recent chemical spill, and what it did to the water supply. They warned their own people, but not the public at large. Better to risk people's health than to threaten social order. And this is good, very good. Anything else? No, that's it. Uh, that's cool, man. Uh, this should be more than enough. Okay, uh, Bones has been typing up a storm already. We pulled all our Pikes theories together and laid out some preliminaries. If you did your job right, this should help fill in the blanks. So we're done here. Almost. We need to make sure this issue gets the publicity it deserves. There's a city information hub we want you to hack. It's on your way out, I promise. All right. All right I'm going to do that a bit quick then. This is turning into a lot, a, a longer mission than I anticipated it would be. Sorry if my voice is starting to sound a little bit tired, guys. It's like two in the morning now. On your way out my ass, it's all the way over there. Yeah, yeah, I know. You have no money. Whatever.
That looks like I can't actually get up there without the bio shell. Yeah, have one more quick look before I jump to conclusions. against that kind of thing. What the hell? It doesn't look like I can actually get up there without a bio show. So that being said guys, we're just going to end the episode here and carry this on in the next episode. If you'd like to see more, please leave a like and share to help support the big community. Do actually make sure to like the video as it helps me understand what you enjoy watching. And it helps me decide um, what Let's Plays to continue, which ones to either cancel or focus less on. That being said, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye, take care, thank you so much for watching.